And along those lines, natural immunity is an idea that a lot of people are talking about as we look for a path now back to normal from the coronavirus pandemic. And as some have lingering questions about COVID-19 vaccines, there's even a debate now about which offers more protection from future infections, getting sick or getting the shot. Our Shira Matsuzawa looked into this. What did you find out today, Shira? Well, Mark, as you mentioned, this is definitely something some people are discussing, especially when you look at the numbers. As of right now, 35% of our total population has received one dose of the vaccine, while 31% is considered fully vaccinated. But keep in mind, kids under 12 aren't eligible for the vaccine. Because I've certainly heard that many individuals um, use the fact that they've had coronavirus and recovered as a reason why they choose not to get a vaccine at this point, um, considering themselves protected. Dr. Sky Blue is an infectious disease specialist with sawtooth epidemiology and infectious disease. He says once you recover from an infection, your body is able to fight that off. So there is some sort of immunity produced. But he says it's important to remember one is a vaccine, the other is an infection. We feel that vaccination itself gives a much better directed immune response than most of the natural infections would. And while he agrees, there is some sort of immunity produced in those instances. What he and other medical experts are seeing is a much longer duration of immunity through the vaccine than most of the natural infections. It is safe to say that you will have some protection after a natural infection if you have an intact immune response. That will that protection is variable. It isn't the same in everybody. And it's actually that setting, after a lot of individuals have recovered from natural infection, that we've seen some of these variants be able to take hold. Dr. Blue adds, while some natural infections like the measles will give a person long neutralizing immunity, that's not always the case. Chickenpox uh, is also one that gives you immunity, maybe better than vaccination, but it, that disease itself runs the risk of the severe life-threatening complications of the natural infection, which is also uh, similar to uh, coronavirus in that if you get the infection naturally, there is a, a large uh, proportion of individuals who have had severe disease, and we've had a lot of deaths in our country. Another reason he stresses the importance of the vaccine. And there's proteins that actually delay the onset of immunity and actually will blunt that immune response. So each infection is somewhat different in the type of immunity that it confers after recovery. So you can't use every other disease uh, as a model for what is going to happen with this disease. And the CDC says the risk of illness and death from the virus outweighs any benefits of natural immunity. Mark? Bottom line, get the vaccine, right? Right, okay. that's what experts say. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Shira, thanks.